Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades, and yep, let's just get into it. And Bitcoin back up to 37,638 today, so looking pretty good. And as we can see, our trend lines are actually holding quite well right now. We can see that we did get a little bit of a bounce right here, back up towards the outside, reconfirming once again that this is going to be a level of support. And as expected, I think this this purple trend line on top right here is going to be acting as resistance. Forgot to let go of my key there, so you just drew a random line. But yes, as we can see, acting as support for the time being. And if we keep bouncing up, then you know we're probably going to get to our forty to forty-two thousand dollar target. I've been I've been talking about how this could be a potential bear flag so i definitely want people to be careful and we can even see in traditional markets near the end of the trading day we did have a nice rally back up to 34,700 on the dow jones spy rallying 1.73 percent and the biggest winners of them all was the nasdaq rallying over three percent on the day right here or 2.26 depends on which exchange you use right i use onda to trade my indexes and derivatives uh use i use the uh, derivatives derivatives to trade my to trade my indexes commodities and you know foreign currencies so you guys should definitely check them out i definitely recommend them i don't have a link for them and i'm not sponsored by them or anything but I definitely recommend them. I enjoy uh, trading with them and I've had no problems so far. But yeah, we can see that the Nasdaq has found a bottom potentially, you know, a temporary one for for all for all we may know. And on the daily time frame looks like we might have a another rise towards the upside, potentially maybe reconfirming this as resistance now as it was acting as support for quite a long time. Maybe we're going to come back up and reconfirm this as resistance before moving back to the downside. And this could be said for many of the stocks, maybe even the Dow Jones, maybe the Dow Jones might roll over back at 35,700 or we might pump even as high as to make a new all time high at 37,100 before continuing or bearish divergence right now. So we can see, I believe it was on the weekly time frame. Yeah, the weekly time frame on the Dow Jones, we could see that we have a significant bearish divergence at the moment. The RSI is getting significantly weaker as we go and we keep pushing to new all time highs. So we make higher highs right here, a new higher high, new higher high, new higher high. And we keep making lower lows on the RSI as we can see right here. Oops, I started drawing on the wrong chart there. There we go. We can see that we're making lower lows here, 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 and here on the RSI. So it keeps decreasing over time. I guess you could say this one was a little bit higher than the previous one, but overall the trend is towards the downside right now. So definitely take that into account guys when you're making your trades. Look at the bigger picture and that's going to define what's going to be happening in the longer term. And we can see on the weekly time frame, you know, we did we did catch a nice little trade here on the Dow Jones, but we're going to focus on Bitcoin today. In my opinion, I think Bitcoin is going to have a maybe nice little little pump towards the upside potentially 40 the $42,000, like I've said before. So 37,600 right now, that would be a nice increase, a nice you know, little pump towards you know 11% potentially, or as, as low as potentially 6%. So if you guys are looking to make some trades, definitely buy at support, like we said before, buy at support and then sell at resistance. So if you wanna make some trades right now, you wanna buy at this purple line, which is set out to be, let's take a look here. Where's my favorite toolbar? There we go. We'll take a look. We'll make some price callouts. Uh, right now they're sitting at 36,700. If it comes back down right now, down this candle right here, it's gonna come back down to 36,500. But right now, I'm not sure if we're gonna come back down. It's looking pretty good at the moment. And if we, you know, we pump towards the upside, you're gonna probably be wanting, wanting to take some profits before the resistance line potentially, maybe at 39,500 or even, you know, as high as $40,000, which is the, the green resistance box we have here, which I've already outlined in previous videos right there. So definitely check that out guys, check out my old videos and definitely check out the Discord desk because that's where I post my trades every single day and my market analysis. And the gold members actually get a little little bonus. They get the you know the my portfolio updates before market open and at, at market close, and it give you guys give you guys my total profit and loss ratios from the the swing trades that I make on my stocks. But yeah, let's take a look at Ethereum as well. Ethereum seems to be holding this yellow box of support, like outlined previously. This yellow support box is acting as strong support for the time being. If we get another rise towards the upside, we could even go as high as 31,000 or even 20, 29,000. So, you know, that would be a nice pump for Ethereum. But we got some resistance right now at 26,000. Sorry, 2,600. I keep saying thousands because I used to, used to Bitcoin being in the thousands. So, you know, that would be a 23% 23, 23 pump right there. But we'll just have to see if we're even going to get there. I think we might even get 
I think the highest we might go is $2,888 before maybe potentially reversing back down. Maybe we'll form, you know, a large W pattern, but you know, this, this all relies once again on traditional markets. If traditional markets continue to sell off after this maybe potential recovery, uh, then, you know, you, you could expect significant more downside coming in, in the crypto markets as well. So always look to what traditional markets are doing as well. Don't just look at your altcoins and your Bitcoin and your Ethereum. You want to look at the US, you know, the Dow Jones, the SP 500, the NASDAQ, the Russell 2000. You know, the Russell 2000 is still in bear market territory, I believe. Even from its highs, it's down over 21% or 21 as high as, as low as 23%. But we are still 20 point four three percent in 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 the you know in the red so from its highs it's down 20 percent bear market territory and we can see today that u.s bonds start to fall sharply as well taking a little bit of a dip there 1.6 percent down on the day and let's take a look at the dxy dxy rising now there is an inverse correlation guys between the dxy going up and bitcoin going down so when the dxy goes up uh bitcoin is going to go down when dxy goes down Bitcoin is naturally going to go up as well. So if you guys want a leading indicator of when Bitcoin is going to go down, then you guys can look at the DXY as well. So this, the, this is the dollar strength index for the US. I'd love to put a chart up in the Discord for you guys to share uh, the inverse correlation between the DXY and Bitcoin to show you guys how exactly, you know, you know when, the, when it starts to go down, the trend is downwards for the DXY, then the trend for Bitcoin is going to be towards the upside. I'm probably going to get started to work on that tonight i've been extremely busy uh just so, so many things to do so many things to to tackle but i thank you so much for your support guys you guys have been awesome and i really appreciate it and you know we're at 7,600 subscribers now once we get to 10,000, that's when the next giveaway is going to be which by the way only discord members can win now to ensure a fair game you know congratulations to all you guys that got into the discord before it was a paid a paid discord but now unfortunately it's it's paid just to avoid scammers and you know, I really hate scammers trying to take money away from my from my loyal subscribers. Anyways, let's get back into it. Uh, not much else to talk about today. Gold actually breaking some significant support now, getting built as low as 1791. In my opinion, this is just when I see gold going down, I see discounts. And as outlined before, I, I was saying uh, this blue line right here on the let's take a look at this blue this this right line instead. I have a, I have a better better outlined than anyone else <laughs> than any sorry than any other of my charts but we can see that the gold has been acting this trend line right here has been acting as significant resistance we had this touch point you know back in june and then now the one in november confirming now this is going to be a, you know a trend line and we can see that right now once again getting rejected at at resistance so if you guys want to exit your longs that you you know open here at uh, 1796 you could exit them in profit over three percent profit obviously we use, i use leverage with my commodities and my index so i significantly up my gains there but i obviously increase my uh, my risk as well but when you do it like this and then you close in profit right and then you reverse or the order you start to short now you could have made up to three percent once again in only a matter of a couple of days so one two three three trading days you would have made three percent right there or i use 20 leverage so you could have made 60 percent right there obviously right here this was not holding a support but we could take a look at the smaller time frames we could see actually we got a bounce from these levels like i said before we might get a bounce from these levels which we did once we, once we got to these trend lines right here we came down and we got a bounce and then you know we, after a bounce you could have stepped your you could have set up your stop loss at break even or even you know in in profit or even at a loss right you could have stepped your your set your set up your stop loss at a previous low potentially this one at 1805 and if you would have gotten stopped out you would have only lost about you know 0.2 of a percent so not not significant loss there but you would have avoided a lot of damage if you would have longed here and then no set no stop loss then you'd be in a one percent loss or 20 percent loss if you use 20 leverage now that's proper risk management for you right there and if that's not first proper risk management then i don't know what is Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for your support once again. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make some really good trades. If you haven't already, definitely join the Discord. I sh I'm going to work in into sharing all my charts in one channel. I want to make them available for you guys 24-7 so you guys can take a look at them. And yeah, if you need, if you need <laughs> any other support, any, if you have any questions, let me know. Me and the moderators can definitely help you guys out with that. Peace. If you haven't already, 
Definitely join Bitcoin.com. You get $158 in bonus and a 10% deposit bonus when you make your first deposit. 